so I was wrong about Dr. Disrespect. You all know that by now, but I'm making a formal video so everybody knows that beyond that first uh, tumultuous day of trying to kind of guess what was going on, not really knowing yet, you know, kind of trying to figure it out, uh, clearly he is guilty of what he said he is. Now, I uh, still will draw the line at pedophile. Uh, I have still not seen evidence that he is a pedophile. A pedophile is specifically somebody who acts upon sexual urges or makes sexual advances specifically towards someone who is under the age of 18 or a child. I think that's a bit of a strong word, um, but clearly he is guilty of at least messaging somebody under the age of 18 on Twitch. So. I was wrong about it, unfortunately. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. I tried to maybe, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I know me making a video doesn't control wh what happens, but in my mind, I was hoping that it was a misunderstanding or is something else, because I just hate seeing all these people going down like this and making these decisions. So um, he, it's pretty clear now based on some other stuff that came out. I couldn't find the tweet. I did find a couple other things that were like uh, some transgender hooker that tried to claim that she that he messaged her at slash him at some I don't know like some some out there thing it seemed like with a me too thing where people just started piling on because there wasn't a lot of evidence to it I haven't seen the posts again I, I'm, I'm not really sure what happened to it so I have no knowledge of, of that but uh, clearly he was in the wrong again uh, we should try to give people the benefit of the, of the doubt when this kind of stuff happens but uh, clearly, the benefit of the doubt was incorrect this time, so um, I guess RIP Dr. Disrespect. He was at the top of his game, even more so than Ninja, I think. When you think of a famous streamer, famous mainstream streamer, Ninja, Dr. Disrespect. They're the two that like, like someone would have seen on Facebook, like your grandma would know about from a Facebook post, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, there are a lot of other very, very famous ones, but it's the same thing with YouTubers. If you name a famous YouTuber, PewDiePie, probably your grandma has even heard of PewDiePie or Markiplier or something. You know what I mean? Um, so he was absolutely at the top of his game. I mean, he had countless, uh, you know, video game integrations, even on stuff he didn't do like basketball and all kinds of stuff. So, um, again, uh, I, I'm not personally invested with him. I didn't really watch him, but I was very proud of his success. Um, so it's sad to see that all get flushed away. But again, he did make this very stupid decision. I guess we'll uh, continue watching Twitter and see where it goes.